Hello, in this video I will show you the essential uh, tools that you need to edit um, architectural images. Uh, first and foremost, if I were to analyze this image, I would have uh, there's a few issues here obviously the lamp and then the building uh, and if building is the main uh, element or this main subject then I would actually shot this image in a portrait view rather than a um, landscape view like uh, like it is now so the other thing is I would probably leave a little bit more room at the top um, so when we edit, we're not going to cut anything out, and you'll see why a little later. So, uh, but now that's done, we're going to edit. Um, and a lot of people don't have the luxury of buying a tilt shift lens. This is a easy way to edit your our, um, architectural images, especially fixing the parallels. So first and foremost, I'm going to duplicate this layer, Command or Control J just in case um, and keep the other one as a backup in case you know because um, there's a lot of editing and then sometimes uh, you might make a mistake that you can't go back so you want a clean the original one uh, as a backup okay so now that I've duplicated this image um, next I'm gonna do I'm gonna shrink it a little bit just because if I pull it up I think I need a little bit more space above the image so command or control T Command Control T to select the image. Then next thing you want to make sure this says 100%, 100%, and this middle here, make sure it's checked like this, dark gray. Okay, so now um, I am going to shrink this a little bit and then move that to the center. Okay, and then click on the check mark and okay so this way um, it leaves a little bit more room on the top when I pull it okay so again as proper workflow you will always want to address the parallels before you start removing a lamp and perfecting this okay so um, let's bring the guides in okay so just if there's a ruler um, just pull it out like that from the ruler. If there's no ruler, go to um, view and then make sure ruler's checked. Okay, so pull the guides out. So I'm going to pull the guides um, and I'm going to use that as a guide. Okay, um, I can also pull the guide here. I'm going to use that as a guide and I'm going to pull the top guide. Okay, and I might want another guide somewhere here, just looking at how thin the building is. Um, that original line might be a little too thick. Okay, so now that I have the guides there, I'm going to go to Edit, Perspective Warp. Okay, so Edit, Perspective Warp. Okay, so I'm going to click here and this grid's going to come up and make sure that uh, that sticks to the top corner and I'm going to pull the other one to the bottom corner and this one's going to be at this corner uh, and this one over here. Okay, I'm going to click that to make sure the circle um, that's selected there click that because I like that area click here and click here so all four area um, looks like it's good okay so I just want to make sure all four areas is good um, now I'm going to select here warp click on warp and now we're going to adjust so when you click on warp, this changes to black. Now I'm just going to pull. See, this is why uh, we should leave areas on the top. Uh, this one's not too bad, but in some instance, um, it actually comes off the page. Okay, so I'm going to pull this into here. 
and pull this up here. If you notice the original guide, um, this building was a, was a little bit too thick based on the real building. So kind of pull this is more like it. Okay. Um, want to pull one guy to make sure that this is straight. This looks straight to me. Let's do a double check on all the lines. So all the lines look relatively straight. Okay, so I'm good to go. Now that all the lines are straight, I'm going to check OK. And then it's going to render. Okay, so if you notice, um, this area and this area is not fill. So the next thing I want to do is select this area. So make sure you go to magic one, select this area, shift, um, make sure this is selected because you want to add. I'm going to shift and there. Uh, next, I'm going to go to select, um, modified. Uh, I want to expand. So I want to make sure that my selection touches, um, comes over the sky a little bit and click OK. And the reason why I'm not doing generative fill right now, because this is quite easy, I don't need to do that. So we're going to fill. We know make sure it's content aware, color adaptation 100%, and click OK. OK, there you go. So it's now it's fill the sky. I'm going to command or control D to deselect. Um, so now we're good. Next thing is, um, so in this image, I probably would just crop it. Um, to get rid of the lamppost, but just for demonstration to see, um, to let you know or let people see how we do it. I'm going to select the polygon lasso tool. And, and But any tool is fine. So I'm just going to roughly not worry about it. So, and select the lamp. Okay, so make sure that your Adobe, your newest uh, Adobe, um, or you downloaded the newest Adobe. Um, so we have this uh, AI here. We can go generative fill. And I'm going to command, write a command, remove lamp. Generate. So it's pretty nice, I would say. Gives you a few options here on um, sky recommendation. Over here is a bit too light for me, so I'm going to check this one. Maybe this one. Okay. I think I like this this one a little bit more. Okay, so th that's all. Um, that's all you need to do with this one. So if there's any other lamp or anything that's in the way, um, I would just do that. Uh, but just for curiosity's sake, let's turn off generative fill and let's do the normal, the uh, another way of removing it. So, um, okay, deselect. Um, I'm gonna go to object selection, select that. Uh, and then I'm going to click on that as well. So make sure that's selected. So we're just adding on. Um, so now I'm going to go to select, expand. So select, modify, expand. So I want it to expand um, five pixels outside of that selection area. And you'll know why later because I want to fill it with the sky. So I'm going to go to edit. Fill, content aware, adaptation 100%. Okay, and then deselect. Okay, so here you go. Here's the one with the uh, fill option. And then this, this is the one with um, generative AI option. Okay, so there's two options. If you notice, this did a, not a great job. Um, I would have. Uh, if there was an AI, I would have gone in with a stamp tool, make sure it's really big, and kind of 
slowly stamp it up like so. Okay. But um, the, obviously the AI is a little bit better. It's, sometimes it's better, and sometimes not. Um, so try this first. Um, I'm gonna undo everything because that just looks horrible. Okay. So there you go. Um, this is done. You the main thing was to fix the parallel of the architecture building. Um, and then the second thing is to remove anything that's in your way, for example, street lamp, wires, and all that that needs to be removed. Okay. So I hope this was helpful.